All right, guys, so here is proof that my fix, my bypass worked, okay? Again, there is the pipe. It's sticking out. There's nothing going into it. Usually there's a rubber, one of those rubber hoses uh, go into that. But check out my other video on how I showed you how to do it. Some people are asking, hey, did it work? Um, does the heater still work? And honestly, I'm going to show it to you right now. So here's the temperature of my engine, 52 degrees, okay? That means it's cold right now outside here 53 so i have not started it up yet we're going to start it up right now and i'm going to show you guys that the heater works okay so <clears throat> i'm in my car showing 53 degrees right now it's got the laser the little red laser there starter up all right the engine's on i'm going to put the heater on full blast um Let's see here, in real time, I'm not gonna edit the video. I'm gonna adjust the temperature setting here to 80. I'm just gonna push it all the way up to the high setting. Do that, do this. And I'm gonna show you guys that this thing is working. Now it's still gonna heat up. Some people had questions about whether or not um, the heater was still going to work and this is going to prove to you guys that it does. Okay, so here's my temperature gun. It works really well. Okay, it's in right now and it's coming out at 55, 53 to 55 degrees right now. We're going to see how long it takes for this heater to warm up because I did bypass the catalytic converter. So essentially that um, antifreeze runs through the catalytic converter and it's used to heat up the vehicle um, quicker that way. So the way that the engineers designed it was for it to flow to the catalytic converter to heat up faster, to get that coolant heated up faster so that it heats up the heater faster. At least that's what I think I theorize. <clears throat> so... Um, Let's see where it's at, okay? So I got the temperature gun. Look at that, guys. 62 right now, okay? It's 62. Now over here, if I point at the window, it's still 56 degrees. So yeah, it's heating up slowly. It's at 64, and it's only been, what, a minute? So the bypass did work. Um, I'm at 190,000 miles. Um, I don't drive this vehicle very much anymore, guys. Um, I think I will try to just drive it around. I still love driving this vehicle, man. Like it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So, um, if you're on the fence about getting a Prius, the downside is the catalytic converter bypass. Okay. You have to do that. Um, eventually it's just a stupid engineering design that sucks. Okay. Let's check the temp 70 degrees. There you go. There's the proof. Okay. So it's climbing, the temperature's climbing, it's 70 in that vent, it is 72 in that vent, okay, it is uh, 70 in that vent, okay, so, and the window is still 50 plus degrees, so it is working, you see that, so it's, uh, the video's been on for what, two, three minutes, and the temperature is going up. It is getting hot. The heater is still working. It's just not, it's just bypassed the catalytic converter where the leak was happening. Because the leak was happening over there, the antifreeze was leaking down in the catalytic converter. It, it looks like it's a head gasket issue, but it's not a head gasket issue, guys. That's a common problem that people misdiagnose a lot in the Prius. Um, <clears throat> does this affect other years and non Prius, uh, a non Prius Prime? cars not sure um maybe some people have written in the comments that they've done this on their other uh, either lexus ct um hybrid prius hybrid engines um and you know maybe non-prius as well and it's worked for them so <clears throat> the question was does the heater still work the answer is yes it's up it's really hot it's 90 88 degrees now and if you take the gun yes the thermometer gun still works. Yes, <clears throat> it gets hot. And it only takes 
literally a couple minutes to warm up it warmed up really quick one thing i do like about the uh prius um i love the heated steering wheel guys i mean that function right there the heated steering wheel function god i love it okay um i don't really use the heated seats too much just because i like uh to have cold seats but <clears throat> living in the pacific northwest i'll tell you what man it's nice to have a nice warm uh, steering wheel the other thing um while we're here um i'm starting to get some uh damage here sun damage it looks like it's from the sun um but you know what 190,000 miles i mean hey you know what not bad all right guys it's getting super freaking hot here now it's shooting up to 99 degrees 100 degrees and um damn it's pretty warm okay so the bypass worked um no issues with that the heaters are getting hot no issues with that if you guys have any other questions on doing this catalytic converter bypass thing let me know a lot of people have done it and have had success with it and uh, let's go look at the engine honestly this freaking car the engine purrs um running good so I got cobwebs guys this is the Prius Prime okay Prius Prime and it's running good so if you're getting white smoke out of your tailpipe um, don't assume right away it's the head gasket okay check your coolant level if your coolant level is um dropping that means it's leaking out the catalytic converter likely uh you're gonna get that white smoke it's freaking embarrassing to have that shit but hey you know what look at that guys 100 and freaking 11 degrees 113 degrees coming out of the heater hey man it works i'm gonna turn it down it was on high give it a thumbs up okay like, this is working awesome. Um, a lot better than I thought. And I hope that I don't have any other serious issues with this Prius. I don't think I will. Uh, all the problems that I've had, I've uh, been able to mostly fix by myself. Um, except for the uh, black screen on this LCD display. Uh, that was a $3,000 fix, practically. Um, the most expensive repair I had was this whole entire head unit being replaced and what I would have probably done different is uh, <clears throat> done it myself instead of paying them $400 for labor because this thing's really easy to pop out this thing pops up this thing pops up two screws behind it and buy a new one from the dealership okay it was about what $2,000 for this head unit 2500 okay they didn't pay me any extra for it um, anyways, over and out. Bye.